you are the owner of a listed company, of a company listed at the stock exchange, and you have been rejected by many Swiss banks or by many other banks, and you are looking now for alternatives, for a repo transaction, for a loan, you should watch this video until the end. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hi, here is Enzo Caputo with SwissBankingLawyers.com speaking from Zurich Paradeplatz. Today we have a very important guest with us, Mr. Dario Berta. He is a former director of UBS. He was many years with UBS, with investment banking. He has an impressive track record in closed businesses and in closed repo transactions. So, Dario, thank you to be here with us today. Thank so, you for your invitation. Thank you, Dario. So, if somebody, if a shareholder of a listed company was rejected by a couple of banks, what can he do? Who can help him to find a loan? How it works? Why we can help him? Can you maybe explain in a more precise way? How can we help such desperate people to find the loan they are looking for? Great, so indeed, a very good question. Today, the banks, they grant less and less Lombard credit to their clients. There is many good companies, good uh, shareholders with uh, good stock, but maybe not the most liquid stock, maybe not the biggest company, and they are looking for additional liquidity. Maybe they need the liquidity for the acquisition, maybe they need the liquidity to just buy a house, or maybe they have a divorce and they need to pledge their shares. For special situations. For special they situations need... yeah. uh, in special times. Yeah. So, we work since many years with repurchase agreements called repo. So we are very much familiar in helping those clients to get additional liquidity on their stocks. Exactly. So, but sometimes some banks are reluctant to give loans because they have to fulfill so many preconditions. They need the Basel, Basel II and other regulations. Can you explain, Dario, how it works with such regulation? Why the banks are in a very difficult situation and cannot, yeah. are not in a position to give loans anymore as they did before? Before it yeah, was much more right. easier than these days. And that's why we have developed our business to help right now. Absolutely. To, yeah. We think that, we, um, that since uh, the last financial crisis, uh, in 2007, 2008, the balance sheets, and of course, also because of the new regulations and, and Basel um, rules, that the banks have less and less liquidity to grant to their clients. The balance sheets become more and more short. Mm -hmm. So it means they are not really happy, the banks, to grant any additional credits to their clients. Mm -hmm. Before, before 2007, nearly everyone received the Lombard credit on their loans. Mm. But it's, it is really a reaction on less liquidity and less risk the bank want to take. Mm. So those clients with less liquid stocks have a big problem mm. in pledging their shares. And this is exactly the point we are coming into the scene because we help these clients because we are financed not by banks, but we are financed by hedge funds and other liquidity providers which are not under, the, under this hard regulation as banks. So they are more flexible. So if we approach such a source for loans, they have not that implications the banks have. And that's why it's much more easier with our help to find such a loan. So we'll help these. Uh, people, these shareholders of listed company to find a loan, not through a bank, but through hedge funds. Absolutely right. We work with several hedge funds and uh, they have big appetite 
to finance stocks between half a million up to 100 million US dollars in credit per client. So the appetite is really, really big. We also working with some Luxembourg funds. Yeah. Uh, that also grant repo to clients from 3 million to 10 million. Mm -hmm. Can you explain a little bit how looks a typical repo transaction? So if somebody wants to work with us, what is a typical client? How is the procedure, how it works, how simple it is to work with us? So the typical situation, we have a CEO or a founder of a company who got stocks between 5 and 10 million. Maybe the market capitalization of the company is about 50 to 200 million market cap. The yeah. stock tr is traded in a first market or in a second market at the stock market. The stock often, the most of our clients, the stock is the not most liquid, like we have a UBS stock or an Apple stock. Of course, those stocks are not so liquid. But most of the times we got the daily liquidity between 50 and let's say 500,000 US dollar per day trading volume, market capitalization, as I said before, between 50 and 250 million uh, US dollars. Typical amount uh, of credit between 5 and 10 million US dollars. But this is just a typical case. We are also interested in giving credit for half a million, or we are interested also in huge clients and to finance 100 million US dollars. So we are finals mm -hmm. with this. But it was good, your question, to explain a little mm -hmm. bit what is our typical client. And what are, what are the factors, the terms and conditions influencing the LTV? So how you compose, uh, how the LTV is composed, what is influencing the LTV? That's a very good question. Of course, the clients, they always would like to have an LTV of 100% yeah. on the stock value, but this is not reality. So there's different factors we have to take into consideration, like the daily volume trading in the stock, like the market capitalization of the stock. Also, the client, what is the actual situation of the client? Also, the country we are financing, uh -huh. and of course, also the currency in which we are financing. Also, country so, risk, country risk evaluation country are risk, very important. Yes, the balance sheet of the company, and the, there's many other factors influencing the LTV. Normally, we deal with LTVs between 35% for a less good deal up to 75% for a good deal. Mm. So that's our typical range of LTV we can grant to the client. Mm. But of course, uh, of my experience, as you know, many of our clients, they were rejected by the bank. So the bank said LTV 0% and we then grant to the client a 50% LTV on his stock. And most of the clients are very happy with our LTV. Mm. I see. And what are the risks for the client if he works with us? What kind of comfort can we give to the client? How we can protect our clients to not be defrauded? Or they, uh, there is, uh, you some, from time to time you hear some fraud cases. Yes. How we can yes. protect our yes. clients yes. to not be victim, to ensure that he will never be victim of Absolutely. a fraud scenario? Absolutely. So we work only with just a few hedge funds and we know the hedge funds and our counterparty and it's very important that you do deal with a very serious uh, entity. Our hedge funds, most of them are uh, domiciled in London and we also working with a Luxembourg fund which is absolutely triple A serious counterparty. So I suggest not to do business with some strange companies uh, some of them in Asia, some of them in Israel. Uh, I would really, really have a good look on with whom you are doing. Very important. This is very, very important. Deal. Very important. Uh, the repo deal is a very sensitive deal because, as you know, we go to two parts. Uh, 
on on one side we can do a change of title. Yeah. That means the stock goes to the borrower, or we have on the other side also non change of title. That which means, is less risky for the client, which is obviously. Less risky for the client, yeah. and most of the clients they do prefer to do a non change of title situation as the stock remains at the client and it's just a pledge in favor of, for example, our hedge fund in London. For example, okay. So, as you can see, as everywhere, it's very important. It's crucial to check your counterparty. You have to check the CV of your counterparties. We do that. For our clients, we check exactly the counterparty. We do this as a, on a standard basis. It's very important. Now Dario spoke about the fund involved in the repo business. Can you explain about, a little bit about this fund? What is the, the unique, the unique uh, selling proposition, the USP? What is the USP of this fund? Because I never heard that there is even a repo fund. I never heard that. But uh, now there is a successful uh, repo fund uh, launching and mm -hmm. uh, promoting this mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit yeah. about this uh, Luxembourg repo fund, how, what they do? They exactly are doing what the banks did 10, 15 years ago. Financing good business, financing good clients. That's a really important thing. They really, because of the, of, because that the banks are not granting any more credits, these funds are specialized in helping wealthy clients to get additional liquidity. And it's a really big, unique business. I, and I think a part of our partner fund in Luxembourg, they will come in the next years, many, many, many authors in this uh, sector. Mm -hmm. And I think the first, they will have a tremendous uh, success mm -hmm. in doing this. Very interesting. And who is behind? this fund or the, or the family office controlling, right, helping the right. fund with own money, with own family money, rich family offices, uh, rich families right, behind right. supporting the fund. Can you explain so a little bit? Uh, in our two, uh, two most important partners, in, in, in uh, for example, our Luxembourg fund, yeah. the money is from uh, a family office, a very f a rich family office from Zurich. Mm -hmm. So the money behind the idea is uh, or the, the the biggest seed investor in the fund is a big family office uh, of Zurich. Very the good. So they they Robert, invest with own money, basically. Own money. With own, own money. money. So it's not a money collected from uh, I don't know where. It's a little bit part. Let's say from. It's a club this deal. Will be it's a, a kind of a club. Million fund. Yeah. In Luxembourg, and we got we got around 70, 75 million from the family. And the rest is collected in a few uh, other family offices, in a few banks. Very good. So it's a people's related business. Absolutely. Absolutely. You see how much important it is to have good connections, not only banks, but also these funds controlled by family offices, which are controlled by real families. As simple as that. So uh, you, don't, uh, you don't work anonymously on an anonymous basis. You exactly know who is giving you the money, you know the source of funds, and you know in Switzerland, the, the placement power in Switzerland, in Zurich, is, is huge, it's very impressive. That's why we have all these assets here to be invested. That's why we work with such funds, uh, and right. we are happy to do that. You know, We don't want to bring our clients in any sort of adventures. We don't want our client to lose money. We want our clients to be happy to introduce these clients to the table and meet directly uh, the people, the, uh, the natural people giving the loans. This is possible if you work with us because we are delivering tailor-made business, tailor-made business directed to the interests of the client. And we are acting his in interest with just hand-picked, hand-picked counterparties. What is also very important to me and so is that we are very fast. Yeah. From the first application to the granting of the loan amount, it can take sometimes only 10 to 14 days. So we are very fast. 
And uh, that's a big advantage. Huge, because if you do such a transaction with the bank, maybe you can wait, let's say, one month for account opening and two months for right. the credit, com right. uh, credit committee. And all these procedures takes times, takes times. At the end, you're... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you don't want to close this business anymore because you have so many paperwork, so many formalities. But here, if you work with us, it's very simple. It's very fast. We are tremendously fast and efficient. Why? Because we have the personal connection. Direct personal connection. We introduce you directly to the people giving you the money. So it's like... It's like a kind of a club deal, I would say. So very confidential. It's not a bank. It's something completely different, but very powerful. And very fast. And very fast, of course. So we are not only fast with account opening, we are fast also in providing such a repo loan. So we will guide you through to, uh, to, to find the right people, to meet the right people, to close your transaction very fast and very successful. Thank you, Dario. Thank you for your support. So in case you have additional questions, in case you have additional questions to me or to Dario, don't hesitate uh, and call us, call us immediately. Take the phone in your hands and give us a call. Call the number 0041442124444. And give me a call and we'll try to answer all of your questions. <laughs>